today I'm playing a game that a favorite subject of mine. The Dead. Who are still among us. This was a difficult game to actually get working, because I get to this screen and I think it's a glitch at first, but I find that if you click over here a bit... How did I, how did I do this? Alright, I clicked something. This is supposed to be the inventory screen, but there's a way out of it. Anyway, this is the music machine, and you know, it doesn't have anything to do with the music machine so much as it does a girl named Haley and a ghost that lives inside of her named Quentin. Uh, the game is based around dialogue between the two and is a bit of an adventure game. this game to work once. Didn't get very far, I just got it to work. This is not a joke. I'm holding shift, I'm pressing wazd. Uh, holding the other shift. Like, it says press esc to toggle the menu, but pressing esc doesn't do... What did you say his name was? Well, I got Haley to talk. I don't know Haley. What did he say his name was? The hell? T? Now my game completely. Oh. Is he bringing the boat around? Of course not. It's lonely here, but we're used to loneliness, right? Don't know why the game's suddenly working. I am. I don't know about you. Quentin's the ghost, by the way. Haley's the girl. Come on, I have no friends. Everyone thinks I'm a weirdo. It's part of being an adolescent. Uh, I saw this before. He said, being lonely is growing up and listing your barber as your emergency contact. Okay, Mr. Dramatic. Let's talk to people who won't answer. And suspecting that Travis Bickle wasn't actually crazy. Who's Travis Bickle? Never you mind. There we go. I have no idea why it takes so long to get the game to start up. I don't think pressing S had anything to do with it. We holding right wing. Bring this and bring up the unit. You don't actually want to kill me. Yes, I do. No, you don't. You haven't had me jump off a tree, you haven't had me stab myself, or shoot myself, you haven't had me jump off a cliff, or into a lake, or anything like that. You've just been dragging me around to places like this. Yeah, Haley can't control her body anymore. Quentin's doing that. Which I imagine is an emasculating experience for him. Ugh. I'm, for some reason... Wait, is there a different button I can press that won't skip the dialogue so badly? This game is supposed to be controller compatible, but so far I can't get the controller to work at all. Wow. That's what happened? Wow, that's what happened? We 
both saw through the same pair of eyeballs. We read the same article. Because you may make me look at something doesn't mean I pay attention to it. And also, just because they found some body doesn't mean a psycho murderer is hanging around. This doesn't make any sense. Besides, you could just make me stab myself if it's death by stabbing her after. It makes sense to me, and that's what matters. I'm looking for someone or something I'll be satisfied with. Like old age? You're young. I have time. At least let me have a cigarette. I am dying for a cigarette, Quentin. Open the door and show me the way. Now, la ish. Open the door and show me the... Cancer sufficiently horrible way to die. Just go away. Let me smoke, and in 30 or 40 years, I'll die of young cancer. You get your revenge, I don't have to have someone else controlling my body for the rest of my life. Girls your age shouldn't smoke, Haley. You know, Quentin, you're an asshole. You were already trying to kill this girl. I'm assuming it's because if the, her body is dead, he won't be bound to it. That's my reason for myself anyway. Oh god, no! Well, girls my age shouldn't be puppeted by vengeful ghosts either. I really hate you. Stop getting in my way. I've lost my patience when uh, no one else. Fine. Oh yeah, I had to wait for the dialogue to be over because the dialogue was just so fucking important. Alright, apparently I'm looking for the, the Scissorman. The Scissorman is in here. They're stuck to the dresser with rust. Or they were just cheap crap. Does the price of tools really matter? Of course it matters. I've been sitting here wrong time. Thank you, Gwen. That was very insightful. Also, I'm not sure you can just stick a tool to a desk with rust. I, I don't think that's how that works. Remember when you paid to send me to summer? Is Quentin her dad? Because Quentin doesn't recognize these at all. I remember when you paid me to send me to summer camp. That's not... I remember when we went to summer camp. Remember when you paid to... Is Quentin her dad? You are a terrible... Terrible... Old man. If you think that trying to kill your daughter from beyond the grave is going to accomplish anything... You should teach her to solve her problems without violence, you old man. I'm calling this. Quentin is her dad. Pick up. Throw. I'll throw this set of astrophysics. Boo! How far can I throw it? Haley, you suck. Quentin, you suck. It's better. So is this a horror game or a ghost detective game? I'm not sure. Thank you, game. These buildings were very useful. Didn't I have to... I guess it's in the 
save the cake was for everyone. Okay, apparently it doesn't save what I do with these things, and they'll all just respawn back where they were. I'll keep this in case this is um the path bullshit. Ah, it's a game I should have got from the summer sale. The path. Great taking Little Red Riding Hood. You should suck cock. You should definitely suck cock. Involves this path, and if you go on it, you go to Grandma's house. But if you don't go on it, you can explore the area and find the wolf. It's a game where you're intentionally trying to get the bad ending, which is a neat little concept. Of course, you do kind of fuck over Little Red Riding Hood's life, but it's supposed to be this metaphor for how when you grow up, you gotta take off the path that your parents set for you and become Beyonce. It smells like stale hair and old. C oh wait, it smells like stale hair and like old like cigarettes. And I feel so, and I feel like somebody's watching me. And I've got oh, oh god, of course you do. I heard that. Killers in this fridge. Oh god. Looks like this food has been here a long time. I want you to eat it, human. Queer years, maybe. It smells awful. Okay. Do 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 do. Just a dry pile of rotten mush. Mush, in my experience, is never dry. That's why it's called mush, and not. Okay, I picked up a hammer throw. I put anything in my inventory? So far, I'm just throwing things at people. I'm, I'm gonna pick that up in case I see the scissorman. Oh, good God. Well, horror movies are any indication. That's probably a good idea. Pick up the ah. Each one of these has been tripped. What are they, traps? Picking my hammer back up, man. Taking the chainsaw. Don't touch it. What? The chainsaw. Why not? Come on. You know tools make me uncomfortable. And chainsaws are the worst. Black. Super icky. The killer's gonna come after me with a chainsaw, isn't he? This very chainsaw that I could have picked up and I only have Haley's stupid cunt to blame. Alright, I got a key. Alright, someone's grave is in here. I'm not unsettled at all. My name is Raj. This is your kingdom and these are your rules. Rule number one. Do not talk about Fight Club. Rule number two. Remember the truth. There is no truth. Rule number three. Forget the truth. Reality is what you decree. You don't rule it for. You have books full of better lies and better fairy tales. Use them to create your truth. Create your happiness. You are a king. You are a god. Oh, and your childhood was one of the Fear your lies and fear your fairy tales you have grown. Yeah, it does sound like something Tyler Durden would say. You are not special, we're all the same, decaying, blah 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 blah. Rule number six do not fear or trust the crackling whispers in the trees. You are more than equal to them. Are there ghosts here other than Quentin? Examine water. It looks more like a tombstone. The breakers. I know this because I'm super powered. Instant rice, mashed rice, canned rice, all the stuff you used to eat. Yeah, especially. Where's my hammer? I feel better if I. Oh, yay! Okay. And then you get a gun! 10 out of 10! 10, 10 out of 10! 100 out of 100! Best game! Best game! Covered in dust. Wanna go do some shooting? You know, for old time's sake? I didn't see a point. Or you could shoot me in the head. That would work too. No. Damn, what was the last thing you said? No. It's not a very interesting way to die. Do 
be fair, I can kind of see Quentin's point. I mean, if he wants his daughter, I'm assuming... Because it sounds like Haley and Quentin knew each other when Quentin was alive. So... She examines that and says the bachelor food, and then she also says, it says it's all the stuff that you know Quentin used to eat, implying that Quentin knew Haley when she was alive, when hey, when Quentin was alive. That's right, Quentin's the dead one, and that Haley. Oh God, I'm gonna go out there, and a Scissorman's gonna be there. Scissorman? No, no Scissorman. And then, oh yeah, and then earlier he said, what did he say? Oh yeah, oh yeah, the summer camp. So I'm going to guess that Quinn is some kind of paternal figure to her. And I guess if he's going to kill his daughter, I guess they want something to laugh about and the great hereafter. Be like, hey, remember that time you shit your pants when the killer showed up and you were like, no, please don't kill me. And then I was like, expensive telescope. An expensive telescope. You know what I'm saying, little girl. Then he's like, Dad. You keep telling the story. It's gay. And then Quinn's like, we don't call things gay anymore in this society. Watch your mouth. An old CRT television. You ever watching movies together? See? They keep implying that they were somehow related in life when Quentin was alive because Haley's alive, Quentin's dead but Quentin's a ghost that's in the scissor man's down there and of course I remember it was only a few months ago do you miss it? in a sense, yes, me too yeah, you had your own body you could jack off to ponies when she watched them so Quentin's a newly dead Oh, hey, it's our favorite book. Sarcasm. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to tell with you. It's old and ragged. Neither of them are Christian. I swear to God, Haley, you better not be an atheist, because you have a fucking ghost inside of you. Atheists tend to not be atheists anymore when they see ghosts, or rather, in my experience, they pretend that there's a logical explanation for the ghost, never give a satisfactory answer as to what it is, and then just kind of talk about how spirit science is the worst thing ever, even though spirit science is one of the best things ever. Matthew 19. It's a page from the Bible over there. There's a grocery that's scrolled on it. <coughs> Alright. I'm gonna see what's in here. Probably should close that door so the scissorman doesn't come. So eventually we're going to run into the scissorman. Several different kinds of toothpaste. Is that a joke? Is that supposed to be funny? Was it? Was that a joke? Was that a joke? Lonely Maples Campground. I am kind of sketched. I haven't been this sketched since the first time I played FNAF. God, there better not be no damn purple rabbit. I hear them at night when it rains. Scratching, seeking men, cat like men, gods like me. Cat-like men. There better not be animatronics in this fucking game. There's more electricity in the air since last week. Crackling, I can feel the wind of another planet. I am Jesus. God is four. They whisper everywhere. I speak back and they hear me. We teach each other. They're, <coughs> they're so much like me in spirit. You know who's in spirit? You are, Quentin. Because you're dead. <laughs> ah, that amused me too much. The animals are gone too, except for the murderer. Because that's a group of crows. Warm lake, breeze blowing, sparkling waves. A 
empty island, always empty. My kingdom, my truth. When will they come? Will I greet them with bowed head or with bullets? I am Jesus. Well, that's interesting. You're scared of spiders, quit and kill this bitch. I hope you don't survive this game. A lot of important papers. There's a map here that looks like it might be useful. Oh, well, sweet. Though I'm pretty sure when I go down there, the scissor is gonna be right there. So I'm gonna pick this up so I can throw it at him. If there's indeed a scissor down here. Because this. No, no, this has the scissor written all over. It's gonna be like when I played Resident Evil Remake, and I asked, who the fuck wrote this shit? Oh no. Oh, thank god. I was so worried I was locked in there with the scissorman coming. guy brush three foot impression. I plan on writing a ghost story myself. It's called Spirit of the Jade Fox. It's basically a book about my feelings on my continued existence in the physical plane at least. And how I'm not really sure I want them to continue. As a result, it's a book with many different difficult themes. It's about a girl who's offered a chance to die. And she takes it, and learns it might not be the best thing for her. But she's not sure if it is or not. Because her worst problems in life are fixed. But at the same time, she's dead. Not the conflicting piece. And I imagine something a psychiatrist studying me would want to get their hands on. Though so far, psychiatrists that study me don't find anything unusual. Well, except for the borderline personality disorder and the gender dysphoria. The fuck? Yes! That's a cup sitting there like it's on dry land and making a sound like it's on dry land. song that I kind of like, but I can't remember the life of what it is, what the lyrics are, but it's, it was, it was, it was a joke rap song, something, something, like a something, something thing, and then it uses the thing to describe the same thing, I don't know what I'm talking about, well, let's see the scissorman. You don't have anything to feel with. Of course you don't. When you no longer have your mortality, there's nothing for you to be afraid of here. You are lonely children sometimes lonely forgets the strongest bonds. While the others participate in captain activities, we explore the woods together. He loved to hunt for snacks under rotten logs of cocks and rocks and cock socks. Cock, sock, cock. There we go. Climb tree. She was a huge bag of sunflower. A huge bag of sunflower seeds that we had sex with as we sat in the branches. Our families lived close, but after the few a few weeks, I never saw her again. It was 33 years ago. Now the island is mine and is empty. I've known about any women since then in more ways than my child's mind could have imagined. Restored forever. To me will remain chubby, wild hold. Moment of foolish nostalgia, I leave this note for posterity. I, the king, will die. And these buildings will rot more than they already have. 
Maybe someday someone will find this. They will know that a boy named Roger and a girl named Heather fucked here. And they had sex with snakes, climbed trees, and ate some flower seeds together. The past is sad, man. I came here for Bible Camp as a little boy. Okay, I, that first line I met. I feel a little sad now. Though, Roger is probably the Scissorman. And I'm probably going to be scared of shit of him and have him see him in my nightmares for like 30 years since all this happened. 30 years it took to rise. Blood on the floor and their eyes. They looked their own. They took the bite and left him to die. 30 years and now I'm here. The only one left to scream in fear. Your job means nothing when I got you running away with fear in your eyes. You look at me. Can you see the death in my eyes? But Blah blah blah, it's with power and force as if they're paying you much. In five nights, and you know, I'm beginning to think that's not a very good song. That the instrumentals are far better than the lyrics, because those lyrics are terrible. Is that a Kateshi Katana? The wood is in relatively good shape, I don't think it's been out here long. I'm glad that Quinn can appreciate good wood when he sees it. Being trapped inside who I assume is his daughter's body, I don't think he gets to see good wood as often as he'd like. Though I imagine he's glad for that, because that would mean seeing his girl, his, his girl's boyfriend's dicks. Rusty spoons and knives. Take one! The fucking scissorman! It's filled with pain water. Let me drink some, I'm thirsty. Seriously? Sure. It's rainwater. Nothing wrong with rainwater. Got a bit of indigestion and herpes. No lying. I will walk upon the sea like it was dry land. Ra, ra, like a dry land dragon. Ra, ra, like a dungeon dragon, like a dungeon dragon. I had an ass nimble, my whips up the chain. I saw Fifty Shades of Grey and thought it was the same movie as Twilight. Then I learned it was Twilight Sparkle fan fiction, and I was like, I thought I heard a scissorman. Is there a scissorman in this game? I'm really sure there's a scissorman in this game. No, we're just back at the beginning. Or do I find the scissorman at the end of the game and then he kills the shit out of me and then father and daughter lol about this in the afterlife? LOL! LOL! What the fuck? I thought I saw a humanoid fit. Can I just ghost through the trees? I swear I ghosted through that one tree. Like it was... Yeah, I did. I fucking did. Okay. Like it's murdered soul suspect in here. Is that a church? When finally to the church you go, then you have my permission to die. Go to the church and ask God to fuck you. Churches only make me think of my friend Charles. And oh, hey, is that a flower of life pattern? That's cool if it is. All right, let's see what's over here. The church where God fugs you. It's pointing north. I have no idea how you do that. Well, I have a good sense of erection, and you don't. Ghost penises. Wow, this thing makes me feel weird. It's a rock with a strange. You don't. I don't feel anything. So, is this one of those the dead are numb to all feeling and sensation after lives, and they envy them for it, for that ability, and. Pirates of the Caribbean. Hmm? 
It's not actually a door, it's just a concrete outline. I think it's part of the wall. I mean, there's another entrance, one would assume so. Why would you have something like this that looks so much like a door? All of we the four the one. The glorious wisdom chapel. The horror the whore horsemen of the cock apocalypse. Um it looks relatively new. That's a bad sign. This guy built his own church, didn't he? Because this place has been abandoned for... No, no, that church is a bad place. I'm looking in here. There's nothing in here. Shawnee, I can see your glorious breasts. And you like it, you see? Oh, for God's sake. Stop. I don't want to have sex with a 10 year old girl. Dying hasn't changed that. Oh, calm down, jeez. I'm just wondering if you think I'm attractive. You would be attractive if you weren't a child. Now let's stop talking. Why do you always act like I'm asking for sex? I never asked you for sex. I'm not even sure how that would even work now. I only ever wanted to be friends. You're the one that turned us into something weird. What's going on? Okay, because she's not his father. He's not her. He's not her father. I meant. Why would she be his father? It'd be weird. He's older than her. Honey, there's no way a 12-year-old girl and a 34 lonely-year-old man can be together. Alone. Every day without it turning into some... Every day without it turning into something weird. Especially when... That was fun. It's just... Yeah, something weird this mouse keeps simple clicking, so I completely missed part of the conversation. I'm 13. What? You said I was 12. I'm 13. You're a child. No, I'm not. You are talk like an adult. They're starting to look like an adult. Maybe someday you think like an adult. You're but... You're 12 years old, Haley. 13. Adults don't run other daddies and lie about being molested when they can't handle rejection. Oh, bird! Bird! Oh, feminists! Did you see that? Did you see that, feminists? If I had a webcam hold up, I would totally have a middle finger up right now. I'm sorry. I was angry and wanted to, wanted to care for once. Well, good job. You cared enough to put a few dozen bullets in me. Now I'm dead. I'm never going to have a wife. I'm never going to have children. And our friendly friendship we might have had died with me. I don't believe that. You don't have to. That's just how life works. You punch a hornet's nest, you get stung. I can see why Quentin Matt. Quentin Matt. You mad. You mad. Oh, God, no. Flickering lights are a bad thing. Going in here. Okay. Pick up. The road over there. The road over there. swing this thing? Maybe. Well, let's find out. Alright, I got a weapon. The Hobar. Oh, good God. This is going to lead to the church, doesn't it? Pages of a survival newsletter. They're all quite old. Oh, good 
great googly moogly. Crowbar, you dumb shit. Oh god. Oh, thank god. Oh, thank God. This leads into the church. I Dollars to donuts leads into the church. Am I in the church? Is the scissorman here? I'm in the church! Call it! I'm in the fucking church! This is the fucking church! Look at the church I'm in! I called some plot twist in a video game about a dead person that no one has ever played except for me because this game isn't that popular. Or it's very popular. I don't know which one. I wonder who lit the candles. I bet you're gonna fucking find out. You met an eyeless man and a toothless man, and you saw the man was beloved and the dearest of friends, and the man spoke to him, how long has it been since you tasted bone marrow, and he told him the truth, and he said, come, and he went with. The man vomited cold, clean water into the endless, eternal infinity sea, and then, the end. Story by We the Four, the One. Black. It's like an alien wrote it or something. This looks useful. Why would that paper be useful, Quentin? What the fuck is even on it? Zero one zero one one one. The farm of pigs and smoke. I have not found any use for that key. Zero one zero one one. The farm of pigs and smoke. Zero one zero one one. That must be the titular music machine. Cool. Oh man, I really have to pee, otherwise I'd be more excited about this. But whoa, what the fuck happened to me? What? That felt really weird. That all just happened. Jeez, it's hot. And it smells like rotten meat. And they feel floaty. Where are we? I have no idea. I'd say this is hell, but they're still in the same body. So we know they haven't died yet. kind of feel like it's a Mad Max Viper Queen of Anarchy um dystopia is that a penis <laughs> yeah it's a penis unfortunately I know all too well what a penis looks like The scissorman or what? Like I'm just gonna head towards the freaky golem penis. I would say that this is making me horny and giving me an uncomfortable direction, but it really isn't. I'm kind of afraid. It's like a clock thing. Oh no! It's a clock tower. 
game does have the scissor in it, in it, doesn't it? Oh good god. Great googly moogly by the grace of god. Our father who art in heaven, sweet lord of liberty. Okay, it's a list of being in the church. Would you like a- uh, god, suddenly the controls are really slippy now I'm in this place. or any of those things. I can't touch it. I can't touch that. Examine pole? I can examine the pole behind it. Where the fuck are we? Oh, good God. What's happening? I'm up to I'm scared. I'm John Tron and I'm oh fuck. I am terrified right now. The K and W cafeteria is trying to kill me. And I I suddenly for once in my life actually fear the cold embrace of death. It doesn't happen very often. If I died right now, I feel like I'd go to hell. I'm not there already. I, is she in hell? She can't be in hell. Because the ghost is still in her body. Oh wow. What the hell? I think this is the end of the road. choice given the circumstances. Pick up, throw, drawer, close the drawer, open the drawer, examine the pliers. Fire's cold. Go in here, then look at the bed. Interesting. I've got more worlds to warp to. Slender the eight pages. When I play it slender the eight pages, I get bored and fall asleep. But I mean, the people who actually find it scary. Finally, there's the altar to the devil. I'm gonna look over here at this other thing first. I don't miss anything while I'm in this strange place. So, what exactly are we doing? Looking around. There's nothing up there except I saw some steps, so I'm going to. My cakes will burn! I think I'll check out the altar to Satan now. Is this hell? I still want to 
say this might be hell. What? Why is it adorable? stairs. I guess I'll just touch that orb and go back to the church. I'm assuming that's what the orb does because a church orb took me here. No! No, it, it doesn't. I just, I just throw it. I'm gonna try throwing it in the well. See what that does. I always race to win. Keep running to the end. Sega Genesis. And now I feel like I need to read the book of Genesis. Bits of bit of iron, but blah, 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 blah. there's no door. going on? Hooks? Like in the Spongebob Squarepants? Wow, even the, the, the homicidal ghost is creeped out by this. By the sharp hooks dangling. So Quentin is someone who she was friends with, had a crush on, who was too old for her, and when he tried telling her that, she got him killed. They sound like Glover when you, when you roll over power ups with, with the ball. Oh god. Oh god. John's getting upset. Our shadows 
stronger than our souls. Did I get up there once? Sonic Heroes sometimes. Anyone who's played Sonic Heroes knows how painful that can be. When I get back to the church, I want to try these other worlds. There's nothing to do here. If I try going all the, uh, the other way. city in any blah 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 tell the receptionist that you've got three dicks this will make her incredibly horny go straight to the thing and you win the prize the items must never be gathered I'm done seeing Rihanna's eyes now and I just see her internal void Pain, discomfort, sadness. Enters into that kind of thing. Enters the spider goddess who lives inside of me. Please post your penis. Do instruments of torture count? Why would you make crates out of aluminum, Quentin? The fuck did you do that? Much like Quentin's human cock.
Or dildos. Good lord, Ailey. What, I'm 13 years old. I'm not gonna have to What did I examine that made her say, or dildos? They look like silos. Or dildos. Good lord, Ailey. Well, no. It doesn't look like any dildo I've ever... I made myself sad. The female sexuality is... Something invigorating that could bring life to me. terrified for the rest of my life. See you.